Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'm going to channel a member of the Beatles, George Harrison, based on your request. Now let me tell you this. So I just recorded a video doing a channeling and I thought I was going to be done. I thought, no, I kind of felt like maybe there was somebody else I could connect with. So I went back to your comments and I saw this comment um, from Caroline asking some questions about George Harrison. And I thought, hey, I haven't channeled him before. Maybe I'll do that. And then I laughed. I, I kind of was like, uh, oh, putzing around a little bit. And I thought, you know, and then I started getting the song in my head. I got my mind set on you. And so I looked it up. I got my computer, my laptop right here so that I can see your questions. And I looked up the song and I thought, okay, if that song is his song, I'll channel him. And it is. George Harrison, I got my mind set on you. <laughs> so that's how we're doing the channeling today because the energy of spirit is present. And thanks to Caroline, I happen to see your question. So let's start with her other questions. All right. She, so the first question she asks is, are the Paul rumors true? And he's like, oh, mate, rumors are rumors. Rumors are just rumors. And he kind of laughs like, are any of them true, really? And he's not giving any credence to that, apparently, and not going to respond to that question, which I wouldn't either. So it's OK, George. It is nice to meet you, by the way. He's like, yeah, well, I've been ignored for quite a while. Yeah, apparently, he has a little bit of a sarcastic sense of humor. He says, oh, is that what you think? Rather rude, actually. I'm like, come on. No. OK. All right. All right. All right. Now sit down proper. Like, I feel like he was married more than once, maybe twice. And I do feel like one of his spouses or either better, it's a sister that's on the other side that he's with. So there's a woman he's with on the other side. I just want to tell you guys that. So, you know, I don't know who it is. It's a lighter hair. She has lighter hair, blonde hair. Um, fill in the blanks. Put the comments below. That's what we do here at Above Life Channel. You guys participate in the channel. You connect as well. So. All right, so second question from Caroline is, how is music making music different on the other side? It's not that different, really. I cannot do accents. You guys are going to laugh at me and throw things at the computer screen or your phone. And if you needed to stop watching, I totally understand. But he's saying, it's not that different, really. It's got, um, it's got a bit of... Uh, attunement that that happens uh, he says that occurs in the afterlife I'm going to try really hard just to hear him and then just to say in my own words because otherwise I might lose the message so he says attunement so the energy of the music is that accurate yeah the vibrations of it the way things move and the sound travels there's so much that it's like a time capsule you know the the vibration of the music is like a time capsule it's not that we're making any music here. It's not, it's not about that really. It's more about um, I'm advancing the, those who are doing the music now. It's more about advancing the frequencies or he's showing me this. It's interesting. It's almost like a musical scale kind of a thing. And he's showing me like, um, what we see here and what we can tune to here and, 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 and listen to with our human ears auditorily is so much different than what is in the afterlife as far as an understanding of sound or music. It's really energy. It's like frequency, vibration, and it's more of a, it's more of a feeling than it is something that is external that you take in. It's more of a feeling inside. So almost like a, a reaction of the body and the cells in the body, the way that they move to receiving that frequency. So you might not actually hear it in the music, but there might be a musician that is in a way kind of channeling some of George Harrison's energy or some of the music that they, you know, John Lennon, George Michael, Freddie Mercury, all of your favorites, David Bowie, Prince in the Afterlife, are sharing. So there is kind of a collective pool where a musician now could actually channel in that frequency and it could be layered into or kind of woven into, he's saying layered into what it is that they're sharing. And he says, it's not as much about the lyrics for him. It's about the, the music itself, the vibration of the energy of the music, the, the vibration of it, the sound, 
which you consider sound, but it's more of a, um, a frequency in the body that your body responds to. He says, I know, I know. He says, I know, I know I'm getting, I'm getting deep, but it's, uh, it's really quite, it's really quite fabulous. It's really quite a, quite a, a concept really, isn't it? it it's, it's pretty mind blowing. Uh, you'd be amazed at what we can do from this, uh, <laughs> okay, so he literally says, like, from the cheap seats is what he's saying. <laughs> so, all right. Like, kind of like a passing the torch almost. He just acknowledged when he said from the cheap seats. He's funny, but he's really harsh. His sense of humor is very harsh. But it's okay. It's okay, George. It's okay. Mr. Harrison. I'll call you. I'll start calling you Mr. Harrison. He's showing me, like, 60, age 62 or 65. I don't know if this has to do with his transition or how old he was. I see 62, 65, and then I see 70 or 72. So I don't know what those ages mean or those dates mean. 62 to 62-65 six, and then 70 or 72. So just putting that out there. If you know what those would be significant for him for his personal life, age-wise or date year-wise for the group or his music career, go ahead and put in the comments below. Remember, you participate. That's what we do at Above Life Channel. We connect together. All right, next question. How can we expect, what can we expect for the future of music on our side? Uh, hmm, like any new Elvises coming in or any new Beatles? Ah, he says, ah. You know, you go through cycles, you go, in, you go in cycles and he says, it's not that we're all getting lined up to get, you know, sent down the chute again, like to get reincarnated. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about um, finding different ways, you know, new. It's like being innovative, being innovative and creative. That's really the, the next phase or the next step is, is being real innovative, real creative and finding, um, finding those sweet spots for people. That's, that's where you're going to get the most um, advancement or the most, um, he says advancement, but I'm kind of feeling like the most success, but to me, the success is in the connection. So it's not necessarily translated into popularity. It's translated more into where you can bring music and who can get the music and who can get access to becoming the musician. That's going to be a big deal. He kind of shows me opening doors for people. Um, and then she says, thank you for it, my sweet Lord, and here comes the sun. Oh, you're saying here comes the sun? He's like, do you know nothing about me? No, I don't, really. I mean, I, I don't know. But that's what makes the channeling so interesting and so annoying to some people. Because I don't Google. <laughs> I know that you were part of the Beatles. I know that. I know that. All right, you guys. So here's another bunch of questions for you, Mr. George Harrison, from Rebecca. She is from Perth, Australia. She says, I'm a really big Beatles fan and would love it if I could talk to George Harrison. Here you go. All right, so my questions are, she says, have you connected with John in the afterlife? Oh, life. Oh, yes. He said, oh, yes, yes, yes. He said, it's not like we're all um, in different places in different parts of the world. It's um, very, it's, it's different. It's not what you think. But yes, we've connected. It's not in the way that you think, though. It's a, it's a different. Um, it's not a reunion tour going on up here in heaven or anything like that. It's not like that. It's, it's different. It's, it's real hard to explain. But to answer your question, yes. Yes, we've connected. What's your role, George, in the afterlife? More like a, kind of like the annoying uncle, you know? The one you invite over for dinner, but he drinks just too much and he gets real inappropriate with his jokes at, you know, after, after the meal and things like that. that. That's kind of the role I play in the afterlife. Is there anything... <laughs> he, you guys, he's funny, but he's funny in a role like... Um, dry. <laughs> I like him. George, I kind of like you. I'm kind of getting used to you. Yeah, I kind of wear on people, you know. Um, kind of wear on you <laughs> after a while. Is there anything um, you would change about your human life? I feel like he has a daughter. There's a girl, a young girl. Um, spending more time with my family. He's making me feel like, oh, I don't want to bust. I don't want to bust your chops or anything. But um. He's kind of making me feel like there may have been an addiction issue, like drinking or something, and that affected his family. 
and children, like a daughter. It looks like a daughter. Um, so it feels like that, that there's some regret in regards to that. Some poor choices might be said. Um, he's smoking a lot. He's like, I tried to quit. Didn't work out very well. Um, what do you think about your son? Oh, I guess you have a son, Danny, following in your footsteps in the music industry. You know, it might surprise you, but it's, it's not that I would be keen on anyone that I loved or cared about to um, follow in my footsteps, like you say. I think it's important for them, especially your children, to live their own life and not have to live in your shadow, not have to deal with your mistakes and with your, you know, successes and things. I don't, I don't envy that. I wouldn't want to be in that position. I wouldn't want them to be in that position. Um, but it, but it's his choice. If that's what is going to make him happy, then he needs to do that. Then absolutely, he would totally, he would totally have my support for that. But it's not an easy life. It's not. It doesn't matter how famous your parents are. It, it doesn't matter what ends you might have. It's just, it's not, it's not an easy life. So you have to really want to, to make music. You have to really have your heart in it and your soul. And your soul in it too. All right. Do, okay, so she says, does he still, is it even possible, play or write music in the afterlife? I think we kind of touched on this a bit um, through the form of kind of channeling where he might inspire another musician um, to, to channel, pick up an instrument, to play music, to write music in that regard. But it would have to be like a request from them to him is kind of how it looks like. Like he's fine mentoring people or coaching people in the afterlife, but it would, it would come from this side. So it would come from the artists themselves, the musician themselves. It's, it's, how, it's how it kind of, he shows me how it works. That's the business of it. And finally, do you plan to reincarnate? He said, oh yes, yes, yes. And he's, you guys, I see a cigarette smoking again, yes. Yes, I would like to do that again. Any sense of timing? Not really, not particularly. Are you reincarnated already? No, 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 not yet, not yet. You guys gotta figure some things out down there. It's kind of a mess down there right now. Yes, it is kind of a mess down here right now, <laughs> on the earth right now. I'm recording this video in April, 2020, so there you go. All right, so. Let's see if there's any other. Nope, that's what I got. Yep, that's what I've got from, from request to channel and to connect with George Harrison. There's other requests for him, but there's no questions, so it doesn't really help much. I'm just scrolling through here. Multiple people have asked for George Harrison channeling, but there's no questions for him. And I think that's about it. I don't think that I have any particular questions for you. Is there anything that you'd want to share, insights you'd want to share? He's like, I'll be here all week. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Like almost like he's finishing a set or like a comedian would say, hey, I'll, I'll be here all week. And he just kind of sits back. It's almost like a cigar or something. It's this different kind of a, it's smoking, but it's not normal cigarettes. Okay. So anyway, I'm just saying that. Um, he's just kind of relaxed and lounging, like a lounge kind of vibe like a bar lounge kind of vibe is what he says like I'll be here all week just stop by if you want to chat with me which means you guys if you are fans of the Beatles or George Harrison in particular that means that he's open for business man you can channel him you can channeling is not just for psychics or mediums it's not for elite spiritually connected people it's for you you got a spirit right use it use it as a bridge connect so here at Above Life Channel, the purpose is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope and give you encouragement like today with this channeling with George, or George Harrison in the afterlife and to help inspire you to live your best life. This is your life after all, so live it. Just live it. Thanks so much for watching the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you never want to miss a channeling video. We share channeling videos here on Mondays. Be sure to subscribe so you get that notification. Thanks for watching.